Hey, I'm Sam from Barn2, and today I want to show you how to increase your average order values by using grouped products in WooCommerce. Let's start with the basics. By default in WooCommerce, you can create simple products, but there's also variable products, affiliate products, and finally grouped products. Here's what a grouped product looks like on the front end for customers. I've created a group of simple products that are all listed under a single product page and customers can add more than one of each item to their basket if they desire, which they often will do if given the option. So this can serve to increase your average order values. But as always, there are limitations. For example, you can't set this up for variable products without a plugin. If that's something you need, then stay tuned because I'll be getting back to that later on in the video. Assuming you already have WooCommerce installed, to create a grouped product, just follow these steps. We'll begin on the products screen and you'll want to add a new product. I've already created an example product, so I'm gonna click edit. Give the product a name and add other details such as a description and a product image. Make sure to add it to a category too, if that's applicable for you. Then scroll down to the bottom and change it from a simple product to a grouped product. You'll notice all of this data just disappeared Make sure that the SKU is correct and then publish or update the product. Of course, we can't just stop here because all you've done is created an empty group with no products in it. So go ahead and make sure you have all the products that you want to add to the group already created for the next step. Scroll down again and this time you can add linked products. So you can search for the different products that you want to add into this group product. If you haven't already created these products, you can do so now and then come back to this step. I'm going to add all the different ebooks from my website and make sure they're in the ebooks category. I'm also going to set a product image for one of the books and I'll change the name to ebook collection. And you can repeat these steps to add any more linked products to this grouped product. Now let's view what this looks like. Also take note of the permalink, which you can edit here if you ever want to change the name of this. Now here we have our ebook collection and customers can add multiple items to their basket. They can even add more than one if they want to. For stores that deal with a wide variety of products or those that sell numerous products in bulk, grouped products might not be the most convenient or even practical solution for you. For such cases, I have two possible plugin solutions for you to consider. Number one is WooCommerce product options, where you can display related products together on any product page. And number two is WooCommerce product table, where you can allow customers to build their own bundle by listing some or all of your products in a table format. I'll go through each one in more detail now to help you decide which one might be a better alternative to grouped products. Earlier, I mentioned that there's a better way to achieve the grouped product effect, but with variable products. To do this, you simply need to download and install the WooCommerce product options plugin. The link can be found in the description below. Here's an example of what I'm talking about. Say you're selling a mobile phone and you want to encourage customers to add a phone case when they order the phone. These can also be sold separately on your website, but by displaying them next to the mobile phone, on the product page, you can encourage people to buy these products together, along with additional accessories such as earbuds, charging kit, or additional memory cards. So that way I can choose, for example, a black phone case, and I can also choose something else like a charging kit. And I can add the entire order to my cart using this button here. In all, you have the option to display these other products as clickable images, in a grid layout, as checkboxes or radio buttons, or as a drop down list. But how does the plugin do this? Let's take a look at the back end. If you want to control the exact products which are displayed, such as a specific screen protector, then you should have this option enabled select specific products. This is also the only way to display variable products, and you'll need to specify which variation you want to include. If you're displaying simple products and you want a more dynamic list of products, one that can update based on popularity or recency, 
then you can use the Select Products Dynamically option. Once you specify the category and a limit on how many products are displayed, you can choose how the list is sorted. For example, you can display the most popular items first. I'll be honest, there's an even simpler way to group products, and that's with our WooCommerce product table plugin. This plugin can quickly create an organized and searchable list of your products, which is displayed in an easy to use table that will save your customers a ton of time. Product table lets the customer choose which products they would like to purchase in the list so they can mix and match to build their own bundle instead. You can either create specific tables that list the products that you choose, or you can turn your entire shop page's display into a product list. I've linked to the plugin demo page in the description below in case you're interested. I hope you found this tutorial helpful today. If you did, I'd appreciate you liking the video and sharing it with someone else who might find it useful. If you want to learn more about the WooCommerce product options plugin, you can check out the demo site here or watch this video next. And as always, thanks for watching.